going on, Sky? Can you hear that? I can't hear anything. You can't play music. You can't have the TV on. You can't hear anything. Because of that bloody hail or snail, snow or rain. It smash it against the van. Oh, I'm a lady. It's like being inside a drum. As I said before, with somebody shooting frozen peas at you. It's coming and going, but it's calming down a bit now. This guy's jumping up and down thinking, what the hell's going on, Dad? <laughs> we're all, we're all cosy in Christine. Lovely. Here we go, Sky. The next minute, it's all quiet again. <laughs> oh, Scottish weather, you gotta love it. Sky, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we all doing? What a glorious sunny morning it is to morning, this morning. That's my view at my bedroom window this morning. I'll take you outside and we'll have a little peek around. There's a little folly bridge there. All this is wetlands, so I presume it used to be some sort of feature, but uh, it's all been taken by the wetlands. It's all muddy in there, but uh, you can still go for walks. And uh, I've seen a couple of, uh, I think, of their greatest spotted woodpeckers in there. So we'll try and get some pictures of those later, which is lovely. But I'll let you know what's happening, where I am, what I'm doing. Have a cup of tea. And it's about uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Lovely job below, been up about an hour and a half. Let's have a mooch around. Oh, watch you. How are we all doing? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, well, where are we? What am I doing? I'll get you up to date what I'm up to. Uh, we've been up the forest camp, as you know, that was lovely for a few days. Uh, I'm still on the... Uh, <coughs> lorry just going by. Uh, I'm still on the... Um... <sighs> where am I? <laughs> on the east side of the island. Oh, the sun's lovely this morning. I'm still on the east side of the island, uh, in the Claddock uh, beach area. That's where the logging roads was. And um, I've come down here to, uh, I, I need to do a bit of work on my van, clean her up a little bit inside. Uh, I need to get some uh, water on board. I found somewhere to find water. I'm actually down by the mountain range uh, station, the mountain rescue station, uh, which is lovely. And, um, well, that sun is glorious this morning. Uh, by the mountain rescue station in Claddock Bay. Uh, I was, I did have an attempt to go up the uh, fell last night, uh, goat fell, yesterday. I was going to have a walk up the goat fell, just up here. Well, I'll say just up here, it's four hours, four hours hike. Uh, this is the easy route from uh, Brodick uh, area, Claddock Bay. Not the easy route, it's still four hours, it's still a bloody clamber. Uh, but there's another more difficult route which goes along cliff edges and it's a bit dodgy. And, uh, you know, some areas you probably need uh, uh, snow equipment, snow, snow climbing stuff. But uh, that's uh, down at um, Corrie Beach. Uh, that's another way up to the uh, Goatfell mountain top, which is the highest peak on the island. But uh, what? Uh, and uh, I was got. I did go up this one, this route from um, Claddock Bay, uh, Claddock Beach. Uh, I got about uh, three quarters to an hour in. I mean, it was lovely when I started. Beautiful day. But uh, got about half an hour up, and the actual rain. A massive hooli came in. So I had to abandon that plan. I turned back, come back, and the rain last night. And the snow last night as well. It was like hail. Big hail balls come down, and the actual ground was covered in snow. But uh, within uh, half an hour or so, it had all gone, uh, which was quite nice. But uh, anyway, uh, so we're down by the um, uh, Mountain Rescue Team Station. And there is some, I've noticed some water taps over there. Let's just uh, go and have a look, I'll show you where I am. Uh, it's a nice car park, this one, just by the mountain rescue station. There's a mountain rescue station there, down at Claddock Beach. And if you notice just there, and there, there's a water tap. Uh, I'm not going to be cheeky and use it without asking. I'll wait for someone to come. I know, I know the rangers do come in and out now and again. So I'll wait for someone to come in, uh, ask permission to take some water. There's lots of little birds flying around here. Uh, I'll ask uh, permission first, because I always ask, ask permission. Always ask permission. This guy's barking at someone over there. Right, lovely. Get some water on board. Right. Wow. 
All the snow seems to have gone off the peaks anyway. Uh, just looking there behind me. Got some of the peaks up there, you can't see. You can't see goat fell from here. Unless I take the drone up. I might take the drone up and have a look at that for you. But uh, lovely jubbly. Right, we'll get back to Christine. Warm my bloody hands up because my hands are like ice. Lovely. Lovely little morning walk about again. It's lovely little forest glade here. Beautiful. Later. Right, so get back to Christine. Kettle's on, mother. I'm right, walking back to Christine. You can see. You see, go far. It's got some snow on it up there in the trees. So there is still snow on the peaks. And that is Goat Fell there, which I was going to climb up. But uh, I just got back because of the rain, the weather turned nasty. Oh, it would be nice climbing up there today with a bit of snow up there, eh? Lovely. Oh, it's getting back to Christine because I can't feel my fingers. Oh, right, my lovely jubblies, how are we all doing? I'm back at the van now. I've just had a nice cup of tea, warm myself up. Uh, it's about nine o'clock now in the morning. Uh, lovely. What I'll do, I'll settle here for a bit. Uh, I'll wait to see if the rain just comes so I can ask if I can have some water. I also want to clean out my uh, tank as well. Give that a good scrub down with a, uh, a bit of the um, bit of the magic fluid. Get that to flush through and uh, get that cleaned out. I do that about once every uh, every six months. Uh, right, so what I've done, I've put a bit of a bit of bread down here, a bit of cornflakes and everything on the ground here, try and get some uh, wildlife in if we can, and this uh, lovely forest glade here behind me, absolute lovely, looks like it's going to be a lovely day, it's nice and calm as well, uh, hopefully the clouds are off the uh, peaks, are off the uh, goat fowl, and uh, I'll get the drone up and have a look, we'll pop the drone up, see if the uh, clouds are off, because I know there's snow up there, so that would be nice for you to have a look at, and um, We'll get that up, drown up for you in a, in a moment, but uh, lovely. Uh, you know, I'm a bit daft where I park sometimes, folks. You know, I don't expect you to do as I do. Uh, I can be a bit crazy sometimes, some of the wild camps and the off-trail camps. You know, I've got stuck many times over the years. I've uh, got myself in the right pickle sometimes over the years. <laughs> but uh, you have to be careful, you really do, especially in forest camps. Just show you an exa example here of what can happen. I uh, don't think this tree's been down long. See that tree there? That big old tree. You wouldn't fancy that on top of your van, would you? So you've got to be careful, folks. You really have. Uh, you know, that's uh, probably a ton of uh, tree there. It's come down. Uh, I don't think it's been down that long, but uh, it's a lovely forest glade here. We'd say we're in Claddock Bay. Uh, just over there is Brodick, uh, about a mile or so away. But uh, I'm going to sit here for about uh, an hour or so. Uh, try and get my uh, tank sorted. Uh, I don't want to start cleaning my tank till I know I can get water because I need to empty it. Give it a scrub out, get the um, disinfectant fluid in there and everything, get it cleaned out and top the tank back up. But uh, I'm waiting for the rangers to come, uh, the mountain rescue. Uh, they should be along. They're always popping in and out during the day. But first of all, hopefully the uh, clouds are off the mountain and we can get a nice view up on the uh, Indrone. Lovely, lovely blue skies up there. Lovely blue skies. A few white fluffy ones up there as well. But uh, anyway, get back inside Christine and see if any, any wildlife pop in this morning. Lovely jubbly. It's Christine. Oh, oh it's glorious. Look at this lovely sunshine. It's chilly though. <laughs> it's chilly. It took me about 20 minutes to get warm up after my walk this morning. So it's about nine o'clock now. But uh, it is a lovely spot, this is. Claddock Bay is lovely. You could stay here for weeks and weeks in Claddock Bay. So much to see in Claddock Bay. Uh, just outside Brodick. You've got all the amenities as well. I've got bins there, water, shopping, everything you need. For off-grid anyway. Uh, there are one or two campsites on the island. So uh, those of you who uh, like campsites, there are quite a few campsites on the island. If that's your thing, folks, but it's not mine, you know me. I'm totally off-grid. Don't pay a penny for my park-ups. And that's where we're sat. Lovely job, though. Nice, eh? Catch you in a bit. Let's get drowning up.
if I can make it when I walk alone Uh-oh Can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know I wanna know If I could run through the fire I could conquer the night If I can make it If I try to drop the red lights I don't know if I can make it when I walk alone Looking, there's a little Jenny ran over there. I'm trying to get on camera. These bloody lovely sand dunes and lovely burns cutting through into the sea. And I'm just doing a bit of mud larking as well on this uh, bank here. Interesting piece of glass here. I wonder if that's a complete bottle. That looks quite old. That does. I'll dig it out and have a look. It was a wee Jenny Wren under that bush there. I'll try and get him on camera. I'm going to stick this spot out and uh, see what it is, eh? See that it's complete. Oh. Uh, try and find something to dig it out with. I haven't got my uh, tools with me. But, uh, hopefully it's complete. Is it complete? And in the shadow here, it'll be something like gently dig it out. I've just got a stamp on the bottom. Watch an old one. Using a bit of slate here to get it out. Right, let that come. Oh, here it comes. Is it complete? It is complete. It's actually got some liquid in there. Oh, let's have a look at this close up. See if it's an old one. Now. All right. Oh, I think you can see me there. It's a complete bottle, and that's really rare really, you get a complete bottle, guys. I don't know, it's still got the cork top in the top, and there is some liquid in there as well. Uh, is there a stamp on it? I need a stamp on these to know what they are. I don't know a lot about uh, old bottles. Uh, it's got WK on the bottom. Uh, oh, it's a shame, there's no... Uh, There's no embossed uh, glass on it. That is a lovely bottle, that is. Uh, it's hard to determine the date on that. So it's a cork top. It's pretty old. There's some clear liquid in there. Is that an old gin bottle? Anybody know about bottles? That's a shame there's no. I'll wash it down and uh, I'll come back in a minute and see if we can see anything else on there. Look at that, mudlarking, complete bottle, lovely. How old is that, eh? Cork top. I'll, I'll wash it down and show you it again. Lovely, I do love mudlarking. And that's the type of uh, place you find lots of stuff, guys, on these embankments here. Especially on these uh, wee burns running into the sea. We've got the embankments there. We've got layers and layers of uh, stuff that's gone in over the years. And, um, that's where you find really interesting stuff. What a beautiful morning. Absolutely beautiful. Just doing a bit of mudlarking. Lovely eye. How beautiful is this, folks? All on my own. Lovely. Oh, and there's that Jenny Wren just coming. It's right on this rock in front of me. I'll get some photos of that little. They're little. They're hard to film those are because they're little. They're really scared and they're really spooky really jittery they don't stand long still for long beautiful all right crack on with the day that's where i found my complete bottle which was very lucky that there's uh centuries and centuries of uh 
stuff in these layers on these cut back riverbanks is the ideal place for mud larking and finding. You gotta get your eye in. Get your eye in guys and have a real good scout around. I found uh, Victorian clay pipes and all sorts doing this and uh, some lovely glass bottles and marbles and all sorts and little kiddies porcelain ties doing this mudlarking from Victorian times and even further back but uh, just get your eye in and try and there's a bit of porcelain there just get your eye in and find you really find some interesting stuff it's really a fascinating hobby mudlarking Another white porcelain plate there, all broken up there. I'm trying to find something complete if I can. A bit of brown glass there, that looks quite modern. Again, lots of porcelain. Some of these porcelain pieces you get are actually beautiful, especially the uh, blue porcelain. Oh, it's lovely jubbly. And there's that plonker waving again. Go away, you idiot. And just very fine porcelain, that is. It's like a printed design, it's not handmade. We've got some coal in here. Bit of coal, blimey. Must have come from an old fire. Oh, fascinating stuff. Fascinating. So if you just find a bit of spot, settle down. Try and get your eye in and have a look. See all the layers here, the difference. Tides over the year and whatever. And you can just stick away at these and uh, gently Obviously, you don't want to take too much away, just have a little probe around with your little taller weather. Obviously, that's the, uh, that's the upper layers there, so come down here a bit. These low layers here, it's marvellous what you pull out sometimes. Okay, you don't erode the bank too much, you need a spade really to get these bits out. But, uh, it's marvellous what pops out all of a sudden, out of the blue. You get a, an old clay pipe. There are some beautiful clay pipes. I've found some club complete ones in the past. But just, just getting your eye in, having a little dig about. See all these layers here? There's layers and layers of tides and over the decades, laying down all the rubbish from wherever, what's about. Lovely. All the way down there. Beautiful. Oh, a lovely place for a hobby, eh? By the wee burn. Yeah, as I say, it's all about getting your eye in and uh, seeing something unusual. Another bit of porcelain there. Quite thin porcelain again. We've got a rim of something there. I'm not quite sure. But over here, I found so much. Really nice. What is that there? Oh, it looks nice. So it's just a bit of porcelain to dig up. Another bit of... Uh, and it's like modern glass there, but that's some sort of a scent, scent bottle, is it? Nice and careful, we don't want to break it. It's been down there long enough, it doesn't look broken. Just gently. I, need, I haven't got my tools with me, I've got some nice digging tools to do this type of stuff. And the brush and everything. Oh, that looks complete, that does. Let's move that out of the way. I don't know if it's old. Might be mud and I don't know. Looks quite clean cut to me. Is that gonna come in it? Nice and gentle. We don't wanna break it. It's been in there, I don't know how long. Is it moving? Oh, it's moving. And it is complete. Wow, that's lovely. What is that? Fluted top. Oh, 
Oh, that is nice. It's got a shite, shite bottle. That is lovely. What is that, eh? What is that? Is that not nice? Wow. It's got a beveled side and round here and beveled here. doesn't look that old but you never know you really don't know with glass oh look at that little robin just come say hello you see him hello fella hello fella he must have jumped onto me bloody shoulder that robin then did then look at that see what i mean get your eye in get down get your eye in it's amazing what you'll find Wow, I'm pleased with that one. I'll try and look it up and see what it is. Pucker. Right, my lovelies. <laughs> I've been out here about, uh, only about half an hour or so, just doing a bit of mudlarking. It's, uh, it's really fascinating what you find. I'm really pleased with what I found as well. I mean, that bottle, uh, I'll, I'll try and do Google and try and do a bit of history on it. But it looks quite old. And it's got a cork top on it and it's still got some white liquid in there besides that gin but that is lovely that is a lovely find uh got some lovely fine very fine bits of white porcelain that looks like some sort of drainage vessel there's another part of it there got it well it's a soap thing or something did it go together like that yeah, I think that went together like that. Well, hold that steady, Stephen. That's quite fascinating, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what that is. I need to get in the sun a bit better, actually. But uh, just bring that camera around. There you go. That's how it would have been. Get in the light a little bit. It's really fine as well. Really fine porcelain. There's no marks on it as such. You can tell by the, the way it's tinkering, it's really fine porcelain. How old is that eye? I haven't got a clue. Lovely jubbly, just pop that down. And there, uh, got a handle of something here. That's quite a thick handle. That's off some sort of pot again. Uh, that's pottery, I think. I don't think that's porcelain. I don't know. That is quite nice. Is that handmade? Lovely jubbly. Uh, we've got a, a clay pot here. Obviously that's some sort of jug. Try and get in the sun a bit more for the shadow. Alright, uh, back in Christine. Uh, the battery went on my phone when I was filming me, me uh, fines, me uh, uh, mud liking fines. It went on my phone. I'll just show you what I've got him in the van. I've cleaned them up a little bit now so they're a bit nicer to see. But uh, there are some fascinating, it's a lovely hobby. I've got lots of hobbies. You need lots of hobbies when you're a lone van lifer, all on your own. <laughs> but I've got lots of hobbies, lots of interests that uh, my days are full. You know, I'm never short of anything to film. I mean, people, some uh, vloggers say they haven't done a vlog for a long time because there's nothing to film. There's always something to film. There's loads going on on our planet smashing. Anyway, it's just uh, turn the camera around and show you, show you what we've got, eh? Hey, sky baby, oh nice and cosy, oh, she's like a little baby she is, ain't you know, you do love your comfort don't you, she does love being warm, uh, there's loads of sills out there tonight, all around the van, anyway let's have a look at my finds table, uh, this is just for, uh, I was only out there about uh, 40 minutes, half an hour, uh, with my mud larking and I found some lovely items, I'm sure if I spent a bit more time and took my trowels and my tools, uh, we crack on. Uh, I'll just quickly go through again. I might have been through some of these on the beach, but that was that fascinating bottle there. Uh, I need to do some history on these. As you can see, it's not a process bottle at all. It is a, I think it's a blown bottle, and it's uh, got liquid inside, and it's got W. WK. Just turn the bottle around. It's got WK on the bottom there. That's all I can make. Can you make it out? Does anybody know about glass? You 
can see it looks it looks blown in it don't look bloody manufactured at all so it's got a cork bottle the cork is still in there and the cork still bloody works that liquid ain't coming out so what's the, whatever's inside there oh, i wouldn't drink that though but uh that's a lovely bottle absolutely cracking fine just think of that sky eh? just think of that sky look she ain't bloody bothered is she uh right the sea urchin uh, i've never got a complete sea urchin i nearly got a complete one here uh, it's just cracked on the far side, but uh, that side is alright. Now, uh, I'll do something with that, with my acrylics, uh, whether I varnish it or whether I do something nicely with it. It needs cleaning up, it's a bit messy, but it needs cleaning up. But aren't those absolutely stunning, eh? And they're absolutely magnificent, what a shell. So, uh, I've never found one that complete, I've found bits of ones, but nice to find a complete one but uh, i'll do something with that that'll be another little uh, half hour in my life uh, spent on doing something with that that was that wee porcelain fine dish it's obviously a draining dish of some kind it looks a bit like a soap dish doesn't it it's a soap dish i mean there's no i wish that bloody stamp and we'll do something but it's very very fine very thin look very fine so uh it looks Victorian. I don't know if uh, anybody out there knows anything about old stuff like this. Put it in the comments. Let me know if anybody's into mudlarking, you know, uh, beachcombing. Let me know what these things are. There's that lovely little, again, ceramic candle there. That is nice. That looks like that's been done by hand. This has been pressed on by hand by the look of it. Been thrown and on a wheel no doubt absolutely fascinating uh, we've got a couple of uh, earthenware jugs here uh, that's a small is that a jug or a beaker or you can see there the uh, the spinning marks where it's been turned been thrown and turned so that looks quite old isn't it maybe that's victorian i don't know there's another massive one here. Look how thick that one is. Again, is that is that a massive jug or is it a pipe? Victorian pipe or something? Drainage pipe or a, has it come off a big massive vessel? That is thick. That is a chunky bit of a chunky bit of pottery. That one is uh, a lovely bit of uh, porcelain here. I think this is transfer. We've got a lovely image of two herons or are they herons or some sort of exotic bird. It looks a bit Chinese, doesn't it? Blue porcelain. It looks like a transfer to me. Uh, not sure on that whether that's a transfer. Can't zoom in. There we go. That's pretty, isn't it? Again, it's very thin. Oh, we've got something on the back there. Might be able to identify with that. What does that say? Yarn. Yarn? Yeah, yarn. Anybody any ideas? Yarn? Is that foreign? Is that Chinese or something? Again, that is very fine. And uh, last but not least, was this beautiful, beautiful scent bottle. I think it's a scent bottle. It's got a lovely design on it. So say it's rounded on one side. It's flat there on that side, as you can see there absolutely stunning bottle i cleaned it up and again there is no markings at all it's quite thick as well is it hand blown is it a scent bottle or a, a medicine bottle a poison bottle i don't know something to do with chemists but well, that is beautiful look at that that is stunning what a beautiful find and it's bloody complete two glass two bottles complete that is rare in beach combing to find bottles complete It'd be nice if it would have had it so uh, it would have had a glass topper on there would have had a glass lid on there is that some sort of a uh, apography uh, you know chemist i don't know but that is lovely in it that is really nice let's put it with a background round look at that that is really nice here we go Lovely, uh, it's mud larking, beautiful.
That's basically what I get up to sometimes. Just put you over there for a minute. And we'll close this video down. Uh, I'll be a late one tonight because uh, I'm a bit behind today. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Again, give me all your lovely comments down below. Oh, I love looking forward to your comments and answering all your comments. It's uh, I've got some lovely folk out there that me, which is lovely to see. Uh, thanks for all the um, buy me coffees and super thanks. I will be doing a shout out to all of your recent buy me coffees and super thanks. All the recent ones over the last week, you get a shout out on the next video, so you get a name on the video as well. And of course, all my join members, you get your names on the video anyway. Uh, for being a join a monthly join member all links are down below she'd be interested in any of that stuff uh, But uh, lovely. Thanks anyway, right? We're settling for the night. I'll get my supper on You have a cracking night, whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing in your life today or tomorrow Have a lovely time keep a smile on your plate on your faces if you can I know it's tough sometimes when you're working. I'm lucky. I'm retired now, but uh, You know, it's all there waiting for us when we, we all retire love it what a lovely way to live and the scenery out my window always takes my breath away it really does wherever i go especially scotland it is amazing anyway big hugs to every single one of you thanks for watching don't forget to give me a like a share and a comment don't forget to subscribe if you've not already subscribed over 60 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so press that subscribe button and press the bell get the notifications of the next adventure coming up very soon as you know, we put loads out on Country Van Life UK. Loads of videos out every month. 20 videos a month. Live shows. Lovely. I love it. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next episode from Country Van Life in Christine. With my Bulgarian Nutes guy. She's fast asleep down there. Supper time. Guinea's time. Cup of tea time. 